Hey guys, welcome back to the Crown Tundra DLC. I have the three uh, legendaries that I have been catching the last couple episodes. And uh, I'm at the area where apparently Keldeo spawns if you make curry here. So I'm just going to make some curry real quick. Hopefully I don't need anything specific. Um, so I'm just, I'm just going to drop in whatever. Um, what do I have a lot of? Okay. Let's just do these, I guess. I'm a... This is what somebody told me on online, is how this thing spawns. So, hopefully this is correct. I haven't done this in so long. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. failing miserably. <laughs> oh god, I never met Curry in this game. I think that's right. Toast Curry. That actually sounds pretty good. And it's just like, oh god, give me the curry. I hope I don't have to, like, make amazing curry or anything. Um... Let's see. Oh, so he does spawn, okay. <laughs> um, we're going to switch some Pokemon, because I don't want to use the Legendaries versus this thing. I want to use my team. Um, thank you for coming. Okay, let's see if we can get this bad boy. Actually... Oops, wrong button, sorry. Bring you up first. Let's go, Keldeo! Is he already transformed into that form that it can get? Oh, he's level 65. Wait, he's... Oh no, this could be bad. Please don't kill it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was so worried. Oh god. Secret sword? <laughs> now if I nuzzle it again, <laughs> you better not crit, I swear to god. Okay, that's not too bad. Sacred sword. So yes, secret sword and sacred sword. I'm guessing he probably has Swords Dance as well. It's paralyzed. I want to bring out Panda to Fall Swipe it, but... Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping. Secret Sword. He's not doing too much damage to me, which is great. I mean, it gives me a lot of opportunities to capture him. Oh, please. No! <laughs> Damn. Oh, I thought I had him for sure. I should probably heal up Spark Pup, but if he gets taken out, it's not too bad. I can bring Panda out. Wait a minute. Yes! Easy legendary capture. Oh, I love those. <laughs> I hate the ones that make me work for it. <laughs> 
Let's go. All right, we've got Keldeo. I put him in the box where he'll never be seen again because I don't use legendary. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. All those Pokemon, never use them. Let's see. Uh, we didn't go after the fossil Pokemon in the last episode. There's a snowstorm over there. See, I can't remember if the fossil Pokemon is here or if it's here. So, we got about five or so minutes. Uh, let's trek over here. Let's see what we can do. It's raining. Maybe that'll help me. Um. Oh god. Vaporeon. What the hell? Let's try right here. I'm really enjoying this DLC. But at the same time, uh, I don't know. There's always something about Pokemon where it's like, yeah, it's fun, but it always feels like there could be that one thing, or maybe a couple things, that could really put it over as like a really great game. And, uh, I just don't know what. Uh, we need to switch you out, little buddy. is a lower odds chance of coming out. Of course, I'll get everything but the friggin' Pokemon I'm looking for. I remember in high school, I was uh, sitting in the cafeteria talking to one of my friends, and uh, he was showing me his uh, Pokemon Diamond game at the time, and <laughs> he had no idea that he had a shiny it was it was a shiny wish cast and I can understand why he didn't know it was shiny because uh, the color is not that much different but uh, at first he was like you know I'll trade this thing to you if you want and uh, I was like you're gonna trade me a shiny and he's like wait what that's shiny <laughs> oh it was so far the look on his face was just like wait what <laughs> oh god I've had those moments where I've... Uh, have you ever had those where you don't look at the screen and when you look back you're looking at Pokemon's color and you're like, is that what it's supposed to look like? Is that shiny or is it normal? That happened to me with Ralts, the, uh, the Pokemon that's currently in this game back in Gen 3. Uh, it was the first Pokemon that I seen in the wild uh, that wasn't like a Poochiana, you know, from the beginning. But I, uh, I seen it, and I wasn't looking at the screen, and I saw, like, a blue coloring, and I'm like, is he supposed to look like that? <laughs> so I caught it anyway, and that's when I realized it was shiny. So it's a good thing I caught it. And what a way to start off a Pokemon game. Even when I, uh, even when I picked up Omega Ruby, uh, I got a shiny in that game, too. And I was very, very surprised that uh, lightning struck twice <laughs> and I got a, a shiny in the same kind of game uh, this time it was a shiny Minum which ended up being a really strong Pokemon for me I don't know why <laughs> I always thought the the plus on Minum Pokemon weren't that strong but for some reason he was he was doing good he helped me catch all the legendaries in that game so oh! So it is here. <laughs> Great. So I, I won't look like a complete idiot. <laughs> so
sitting here just fishing for uh, for the rest of the episode, I can just catch this thing real quick. And uh, we'll call it a day. And I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do next is go after the Reggies. So prepare yourself for a lot of Pokeball throws because good God can they get, they can get bad. Uh, just go back and watch my Pokemon Ruby episodes where I'm trying to catch the Reggies. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't catch them in the episodes, I catch them in the episodes after. <laughs> That's how bad it was. I think it was like 20-30 minutes each on, on all of them and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to call it an episode, I'll try to catch it off screen. And even then, there was some, uh, I'm not sure if it was Regice or, or Regirock or, or the other one. Oh. One or two of them took me forever off screen to catch. I think maybe like 30 more minutes on top of the 30 minutes that I was trying to catch it on screen. <laughs> it was like, good God, just get in the damn ball. Uh, I'm going to false swipe this thing because it doesn't want to go in the ball. Spit up. Bazaar, you spit at me. Alright, I don't think this Pokemon has anything that, uh, and before it hits me with a double edge. <laughs> so I could cry at the end of this episode and be like, no! Damn, you do not want to go in, do you? Alright. Be annoying. <laughs> this is, this thing's gonna be more annoying than the friggin' legendary. Are you kidding me? What are the odds for this thing to come out? Because I, I'm pretty sure it's five percent. Like Dratini is to uh, fish up as well. I had an easier time getting a Dratini to wander around than it was to fish it up, so, you know, callous pro tip. <laughs> Leap clings to rocks on the seabed. When prey comes close, this Pokemon entangles it with petal-like tentacles. All right. Well, that's the last of the fossil Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, I can't get an Almanite until I get somebody to trade with me. Vaporeon's over there looking freaking majestic. So, in the next episode, I think I'm going to be going after Registeel, uh, which I believe is here. Uh, there's another one over here somewhere. Um, and then there's one up here, and then the other one's down here. So, we've got a few to catch. I'm going to leave the newest one for last and I'm probably going to go after Regidrago um, they're both in the same place but you can only get one so I'm going to go with Regidrago um, but yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode leave a like, comment, share, subscribe all those fun little things and I will see you guys in the next episode when we attempt to go after the Regis and then hopefully if all goes well and I get those then we can go after the legendary birds that flew away so until then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.